to steal from another artist. I thought of doing Matisse as I wandered around in my mind, thinking of who I'd like to emulate. <laughs> but then after not too much reflecting, having decided not to do Matisse, been there, done that, and plus all the coloring and cutting. <laughs> Yesterday on the Facebook meeting, Haley said to go for the low-hanging fruit, and so then <laughs> Rothko appeared. And my body confirmed that he's the one. I've worked on it for way over an hour. It was pink at first, until it ran out. It was my first choice, my first color that drew me in as the word isolation floated about me, being the guide, guiding intention given to us by Haley. Pink, isolation. I used pink watercolor pencil rubbing back and forth, back and forth until the lead was flush with the wood. In that moment, this reality was going to be part of the work, running out, not having more. So, change something to keep going. I chose yellow. It was sharper than the pink crayon, more material to work with. I colored the space above the pink patch until it too ran out. Consciously staying in the warm color tone, I pulled the red pencil out of my pencil case. And it was already used down to the wood. No red watercolor pencil, so I went to orange and worked away above pink and beside yellow. I looked at the materials I had on hand with less than half of the page from my watercolor block colored in. I decided to use the red watercolor crayon. What was going to have been an exploration or study in pink was about to become red. I filled most of the page with a pure red crayon then decided to color over everything, <laughs> mixing the colors together as Rothko would. It was very satisfying and liberating to be just able to stroke back and forth over and over again, not having to care, just this constant rhythm that my body seemed to need. Then I went and got a small glass of water from the kitchen and grabbed the beautiful square paintbrush, already feeling the de desire and the flow, the smooth strokes that awaited me, transforming a page of rough coloring into silky, pure, radiant color. I was mesmerized by the rich, powerful red hue as the pencil and crayon became flowing watercolor. And then to see the change as the brush passed over red and pink, red and orange, red and yellow, beguiling new lances of color that held the promise of a delicious journey into the unknown. Quite a while and many, many layers later, <laughs> I was struggling, getting tired of taking chances and seeing that I was ruining something that had started out with such potential. So another layer, more corrections. So this is what Roscoe observed, what he encountered, what he went through. Not pure enough anymore. I can see the crayon or pastel lines. I'm afraid I'll make it too dark. I'm getting bored, not again. Now I've really ruined it. When is this going to end? Keep going. Okay, another layer. Why don't I break my rule and use a cool tone? Whoa, look at how the sea green explodes on top of the red. Great, that was a bad idea. Get the red crayon out again. Wait, why don't I break from Rothko? I don't, I don't need to keep this up. And I can go my own way. Oh, what if I use this other darker cobalt blue to cover up the stupid dark lines that are destroying the pure tones? Hmm. It looks like water. Cool. Okay, great. When I rub the pastel in a bit, it gets all blah. Okay. I'll use this new material, my nifty art sticks. Oh, so radiant. Wow, just fill in the spaces between the waves here. Fuck! That looks like shit. The texture and the lines are all wrong. It's ruining the softness of the rubbed chalk pastel. Get the paintbrush. Layer number eight. Oh, okay. it's recovering again. Wow, it's so beautiful. But it's not good enough gradation. Half the page is red. Fart. Okay, I'll try this again. Whoa, that is a shit color of purple. These pastels are crap, not vibrant enough. Okay, maybe I'll use one of these two blue watercolor crayons I haven't used. Okay, just go carefully. Okay, look, let's see. I'll add quite a lot at the very bottom. All right, now get the paintbrush. Oh my god, that's perfect. There's the purple, and it's really making something happen again. Okay, but. I still want that soft pastel effect, maybe only around the outside, though. Oh, no, that's definitely not it. Oh, I'll just 
fuck around again, I guess. I'll add some of that fuchsia in the middle part, rub it in. Let's take a look. Oh my god, this is shit. I'm done. What else could I be doing right now? Okay, I'll just do one more layer with the water, just start again. What is this, layer nine? I don't care, I'm, I'm gonna... I'm gonna even try to blend this well. Just get it done. Sweep, 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 quick and dirty. Wait a minute. What's happening? There's something here. It's emerging. This is... This is what he saw. There's no lines, no gradation. It's just all these colors, all these layers and different materials dancing together. It's glowing. Everywhere you look, it's slightly different. I'm held by the glamour of creation, of light and color. No beginning, no ending, everything together. This is the work of time in isolation. <laughs>